Coach Zaleski, eight qualifiers, one All-American. You know, obviously, something to build off of. Uh, what could have been worse? Could have been no All-Americans, right? Oh, no, no All-Americans. You know, that's always that's always worse. But uh, you know, just getting the guys here and get some experience is good. And we got uh, the six of those qualifiers coming back, so it's it's good to build on that. When you look at, uh, I guess, Covington's performance, you know, losing a tough quarterfinal, losing a quarterfinal, coming back and having to win the All-American, you know, match gets a tough opponent. What do you take from that, and what do you tell Covington? Well, you just gotta, you know, you're disappointed because you're shooting for first. So those are the toughest matches to win, right? That's where actually where character comes out, you know? Because you're losing the quarterfinals, you gotta win more and more matches being All-American, and those are, to me, those are the toughest matches in this tournament. Michael Mangrum, All-American match again. You know, 0-0 zero, zero first period, chooses down, gets tilted up a couple times, really can't come back to it, reverts back to some, you know, some old stuff he did probably in youth wrestling. Just doesn't quite get it done. What do you say to Michael? Oh, the basics. You know, you got to, you know, I think it's basics. I think he was uh, closer this year, you know, but I mean, it's just, it's just getting those basics that wins this tournament. You know, being able to get off the bottom, not rolling around. Sometimes he gets rolling around too much, and that's where he did in that match, and that's why he got beat. Sakaguchi, you got him coming back. Uh, Drucker coming back. Uh, Jack Hammer, Clayton Jack coming back. He got caught in a crazy scramble at heavyweight and pinned in the round of 16. You know, what do you say to a guy like Clayton Jack, and how do you build him back up? Well, I just want to say, hey, it was your move. You know, you got caught by too much momentum. You know, you got to, you know, you always got to put your hips on when you hit the mat on a takedown, and we didn't do that, so we got rolled through and pinned. But uh, hey, it was your move. You know, I'd rather get beat that way than you know stand around and get all of a sudden beat by the not 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 doing anything. Arizona State has had a phenomenal tournament. They're in the top 10, and obviously they were just they were not a strong dual meet team. But you know, wrestling in the West is you know we always talk about this being in trouble a little bit. Uh, it looks like Bakersfield's going to keep it another year. It looks like Fullerton's going to keep another year. What is it going to take for you? You know, Utah Valley's had a nice tournament. What's it going to take for you guys out in the West to keep building like you are off the success from this NCAA tournament? Well, I think just think to keep having success. I mean, this is a long time. I think we, we Pac 10's got five five guys in the finals. So I mean, not only one of the Pac 10's had five guys in the finals, but it's been a long time. So you know, that's something we can build on. Look at. And hopefully, the people in the administration in the West see that. Hey, that there is good wrestling out here, and that you know we we've got great wrestling, you know, great product to offer out there. All right, Coach Z, you got anything else for me? Go flow. All right, hey, thanks for the time. I will be out there this summer, hopefully under better circumstances, all right? All right, sounds good.